Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? Or good afternoon, rather. It's 12.37 on Sunday. And uh, I wanted to talk about the big elephant in the room in regards to crypto. And that elephant is the exchange fees for most of the exchanges, whether you're withdrawing or uh, depositing crypto. And I don't think people talk about it enough, but it's, I mean, it's ridiculous because it doesn't cost us, you know, it doesn't cost that much to do this with a bank, right? It actually doesn't cost anything. And that is the fees that they take out sometimes when you put in. And then also the withdrawal fees, which is pretty much universal. So I took $22 into the Q Trade exchange to buy SCC coin. So I started at $22. By the time I was ready to withdraw my SCC, it was $9.36. So I lost more than half my money just from fees. Okay. Then when I withdrew, I had to pay another fee and now I'm down to $8.82 in SEC coin. So I lost more than 50%, probably more along the lines of like 55%. 55% of my money just from the greedy hands of exchanges. Um, that's, to me, that's unacceptable. And that's also why I think a lot of these exchanges are going to go, go belly up because that type of money grab is, it doesn't even make crypto practical a lot of times. It doesn't make it practical. It's not practical to lose 50% of your transfer through fees. All right. That's ridiculous. And, you know, thank goodness in the future, we will have things like token pay and the DEX and I guess it's KEX, CEX, decentralized and centralized exchanges where you can convert directly to fiat, whether it's with the EFIN coin or whether it's with TPay, you can just do the conversion directly and you don't have to worry about this, this, you know, sending your money through a million hands and then taking a big chunk out of all of it to the point where you're left with very little. It's pretty much robbery to me, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's robbery, robbery because there's no reason for you to have to give up half of your money to transfer digits on a blockchain. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, you only have to go through that exchange for SEC. But I mean, even other exchanges like Coin Exchange and uh, HitBTC is one of the biggest offenders, in my opinion, because I I sold uh, what did I sell on there. There was one coin I sold that was very high. It was a high value coin. I think it was around a dollar. And, uh, you know, I sent a few hundred to hit BTC. And, or no, I sent Bitcoin to hit BTC, right? To get this coin. And then I had to withdraw it. And it was like a 80 cents or a 90 cents, I think, per coin. And the fee was 50 coins. So they took $50, you know, like $48 out in order to, um, in order to just let me withdraw like $150 worth. So they took like 25% of what I was transferring. That's ridiculous. All right. And I think that's, the problem a lot of these coins have with these exchanges. I think some of the more upstanding coins did not want to actually deal with these exchanges that rob you. 
You know what I mean? You take huge chunks of money out, leave you with next to nothing. And uh, I think that's that's honestly why token pay and Electronium and a lot of the other coins re refuse to deal with most exchanges or, or don't care to rush to get on just any exchange because these things are robbing people. You know what I mean? So anyway, Stay Cube is the real deal. Love it. Check it out. And uh, I will talk to you in a minute because I want to show you guys something.